Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you tuning in once again. So we are working on our giveaway GTO by Ravel. So in this video, I was going to try to make this into one video. Uh, it's just running too long, you know, and I, I don't want to cut a lot of things. Cause like I said, I'm doing a build prime to paint series. So there's really no point in a series if I kind of skip through things. And I know things can be boring watching at times. I get that. But you know what? That one person gets one thing out of it. You know, maybe that's that one step that they were, they're were they unfamiliar with or they're not that comfortable doing. And then it's worth it, you know. So that's why you can skip through things. That's, that's the joy of today's society. Just skip through it if you don't like it. So anyways, uh, this video we're going to basically uh, wet sand the new color, the second coat. And get that wet sanded. And we are going to decal it. So we're going to decal it on top of the wet sanded paint. In this video, I started to, before I sanded, I was going to do panel line in it. Kind of like I did with a primer. And I don't know why, but the panel line kind of freaked out on the paints. I took it off. So it's just, so you may see a little bit of lines in it here and there. I'll just panel line in the end like I normally do. Um, it didn't hurt it, obviously, by any means. And I probably could just leave it the way it is. It looks okay. Uh, it just looked too fat and just, it just didn't look right. And I think it was because, well, I really don't know why it was, but it's, it is what it is. So I took it back off there. So you'll see in a video um, that looks like there was panel line art one time and I took it out and I thought, you know what, we're just going to leave it off. We'll do it in the end. It works great on the primer side. I really never tried it on the paint side of it to do before clear coat. Um, I thought I'd try to give that a try. But anyways, let's take you over to the bench and um, let's get going on this thing and get it finished up. All right, guys, we are going to get some wet sanding done once again. And you know what? I know I'm I'm probably being too picky on it and all that good stuff, but I want it to go to a good home and, you know, like, man, that looks pretty nice. So that's kind of why I'm doing a little bit more extra, but I, I don't know. I guess I just like doing this on a lot of my models. Um, to me, this is my favorite part of the model is just painting it. Uh, Tony Lancer and I talked while back. I told him, I said, man, I could just paint the model and stick it back in the box, and I'm perfectly content with that. Uh, this is this to me is my favorite part of the hobby is, is painting it. So that's where I enjoy doing this part. So uh, to me doing this little extra to it, it's enjoyable to me, you know, for, for me anyways. Uh, it's obviously not for everybody and it's not everybody's biggest thing. And I can't tell you how many times I've about broke that off. Um, it makes me all just break it off and just glue it back on later. So I'm still not happy with that roof, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm just, I'm being too picky about it. Um, I'm going to wet sand it a little bit and we're going to clear it. So what we're going to do is, um, like I said, we're going to wet sand it down. This has not been in the oven at all. Uh, just sitting in there and there it goes. I knew it. I knew it. Way to go. Way to go, man. Uh, so anyways, I have not set this in the oven, uh, to bake or cure out or anything. It's just been sitting on the bench. Uh, so like I say, the MCW cures out pretty good for enamel, um, you know, with the hardener in it. So like I say, I could build this model and have no no issues at all by doing so. So it's uh, very good stuff. I've been really debating on painting uh, the lines here, like the, you know, instead of bare metal foil, I've really been debating on just painting this. Um, I see a lot of guys do it, and I used to do it years ago. I'd never bare metal foiled for the longest time. I kind of just got into that, you know, honestly. So I'm just thinking about, painting that but i'm thinking well time i masked all that off and because i used to brush paint i used to just take tester silver the little jar of silver paint and i just nice meticulously painted around but times have changed methods have changed um i walked into the bare metal foil process um so i'm probably just going to do it that way it's been working for me and all the good stuff so we're going to do a wet sand this and we are going to wet sand it with our tried and true trizac sandpaper um like i said i love this stuff if you guys have never used this it comes in many grits i think it starts at three thousand. i think uh, i'm not really sure how how high it goes up to but like i said it is foam and i love this stuff love it and like i mentioned before guys i take and cut it down in little pieces like this uh and the reason why um if you didn't catch before is when i'm sanding it here or say i'm like okay i'm like sanding here well if i get this big old honking sheet here I'm sanding like this. Well, I don't know what this is doing. This could be, you know, rubbing the back of this down to nothing, you know. So this way here, it's just more controlled. And I can keep an eye on everything and just, you know, you can feather it. It's, it's more controllable. That's all it is. 
All right, guys, so we're going to wet sand this hood a little bit. I did this half already. I know a lot of you guys have seen this a thousand times. So you can see half is wet sand and half is not. So I had a couple little blemishes in this, uh, little dust specks. And I have a couple in this one. I don't know if you can really see it or not. So my sandpaper, I took and cut the little piece off that was the end because I'm sitting there like this. So I just nipped it down. So I know, okay, so there's one there and there's one there. So what I'll do is I'll just, I'll concentrate. I'll do the whole thing, but I'll more so concentrate in that neighborhood. And like I say, I'm using that 5,000. And yeah, you can go a little more aggressive, but you know, as I said earlier in another video, I like this because it's not that aggressive. So you can take a little more time with it. You know, if your paint's not, you know, if your paint's good, it'll, it'll sand out pretty nice. I mean, I haven't worked on this side just for a few seconds and it was gone. But you want to do is you want to keep checking it. You don't want to just keep going to where like, eh, it feels smooth. So once that's gone, you're done. You don't need to go any further. Because you're not going to make it any better. So you just, at that point, you're just taking a chance of um, going too far with it. Or, so the other one I got is right there. I mean, it's right inside that crevice. That one might be tricky, so I'll have to be careful. So that's like, so that's why it's like cutting them with a the sharp 90 degree edges on them. So that way you can work them in there a little bit. Make things happen. Now this here being it's on the edge, we're going to be super careful with that because I don't want to go through it. So we're going to leave that like that because I don't want to go any further because that looks like that's getting pretty dangerous close right there. Yeah, we're still we're still orange, but I don't want to go any further. I'm going to get the rest of this done here, and we're going to call it good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think the hood's going to be good enough. Wipe that off. That should be good to go. Yep, looks good, like it. I'm not trying to perfect it to where it's, you know, the best paint thing out there. I mean, I'm not looking for that. It's just, I like to see how good I can do it. You know, it's it's more of a personal thing for me. I'm just like, how, how cool can I make this? You know, just a little extra time doing what I'm doing. And the results is unbelievable. You know, like I say, I'm not looking to like, man, I can make this thing look the best there is. I mean, I'm, yeah, I'd like it to look cool, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong, but it's just, I'm not, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm saying. All right, we're going to leave it like that. Like I say, it's just, I want it to look good, and I'm trying to, and I'm I'm learning different things as I go. Um, so, and I've, I've found that this works really good doing this stuff. I see a little spot here. And this edge right here. But like I say, it's, it's kind of cool to see how you can get it to turn out by just doing a little extra work. And that's what I like to do. I, I like to do just a little above and beyond. And just to see how cool I can get it to turn out. You know, because it is a model. So it's like, how cool can we get this to look? And like I say, I'm no professional by any means. But I just thought, hey, let's give it a try and see how cool we can get it. Okay, I'm going to leave that just like that. So you can see there's still some bright spots here, some shiny spots. Um, you're going to have that. You're not going to be able to like walk those completely out because that's just nature of the beast. So the hood is ready to clear coat. I got the uh, spoiler is ready to go. I did not do underneath here. I really don't care about that. Um, I will hit it with clear, obviously. Uh, but I'm not. It's not my main focus. My main focus is here. And obviously the edge of those pedestals. Okay, guys, we're going to get the door done. I'll finish that trunk one more time. So I started a new piece of paper. So if you're using that Trizac, so once you start seeing the the blue, bluish green color start disappearing, um, it's usually time to get a new piece. All right, guys, so we are sanded down. It's looking pretty good. I think right now at this point we're going to decal it. We're going to let this decal set overnight. I don't like to decal it and then go ahead and clear it right away. So I just like to do it that way. So if you're always curious what your clear coat's going to look like, just take a little drop of water and just set it on there and that's pretty much what it's gonna that's the color shine you're gonna get out of it so the nice thing about this we're gonna put the decals on it and then we're gonna let it dry and then we're gonna take it in and wash it tomorrow uh the next day before um we clear coat it the decals will be nice and dry you can wash right over them it's not gonna hurt them one bit i end up breaking it off finally 
and we're going to get on with our decals. Uh, so we're going to use this color here, kind of the black and the yellow orange. So we're going to continue that theme through the whole car and get some of these put down. So we're going to just reference our instructions for our placement of decals. So we have, uh, we have 21 and they got 21 on the top of the spoiler on this one. I thought it was on the trunk, but apparently not. It's on the top. Uh, and same as the Ram Air. Those are on top of the, trunk, the hood. And we got our judge decal there. So uh, we're going to, I got my 3M here. So we get that started. So we have the top of the spoiler. I'm going to start with just one decal. Uh, that way I can kind of see how they're going to go. Like so. We'll give it a few seconds to slide. And we'll take a little microsol and put it on there. I keep this little brush here and we'll let these set for the night. We'll call her good. Alright, we'll get these judge decals on the side. So I got my little foam piece here. We'll set that up like so. Um, I got these at Home Depot. This is These are gutter guards. So it comes like a four foot chunk. Um, and I just cut them down and they work perfect for working on the models. If you're kind of wondering what that was and where it come from. Something like that. Alright guys, we are getting some decals laid down. I've got a little head start on you. So I pretty much finished the side. So this has all been wet sanded. And we're putting the decals on the wet sanded paint. And then we're just going to clear the whole thing right over top. So this side is done. My only disappointment so far is this decal here. When I went to put some Microsoft on it. Uh, I like using these little tester. Um, I don't know what they're called. They're just like a little spot thing you can get. And I dip this in there and I just basically just touch this on here. Uh, it must have been wet enough because as it dried it wicked its way up. And I did that last night so when I come in today and I thought oh that's nice it's dried there not a big deal I mean you look at it you, you kind of have to stare at it to notice it but I know it's there and now you know it's there so these are things that happen um, I do these videos in multiple nights so if I repeat myself on certain things um, I apologize for that so like I say I end up removing the panel line on this um, like I say I, I don't know it just didn't look good so I'm gonna redo it once it's painted and go from there uh, so what little bits in there is not a big deal and it come out pretty easy so I got the judge decals on so the only one I got put on the side yet is the long um, stripe like this one so I had a problem with this stripe and I thought my goodness it reminded me of the AMT Mustang so here's my decal and I don't know why but this broke on me in two places sliding it off it just crack crack and I thought oh yes love it so this decal actually broke here, and it broke right here above the handle. So I was able to piece that back together, and I put a little bit of Microsoft. I didn't want to put too much on because I didn't want it to spread apart and, you know, and come back. So we got our decal on the back, and while we're out and about decaling, uh, I did the hood. So the Ram Air decals around the hood, and I did the decals on the valve covers. And after that was done, put a little bit of panel wash on there nose piece got the two little markers on the side those are on and the rear deck lid spoiler we got the judge decal on there also ready to go so that sits on the back of the car like so so look pretty cool so once i get everything done here um this will all go in the house and everything will get washed all these little spots will get washed off there a lot of that's from microsol i try to keep most of that stuff off there I'm going to put this other decal on and the GTO decals, which those are a little, little, um, they weren't bad, but they were, let's just say they weren't bad. So we got our little cup of water here. I found my cup is in the garage. I must have used it for something else. So this decal is going to ride like this up along the back part of that window. 
So I'll give this a little soak. I like to soak them for about 20 seconds or so. Always seems to do the trick. So I'll take that out and lay it on the towel. We'll let it sit there for a minute. Releasing that glue. Like I say, this decal, when I was putting it on the other side, it ripped on me. Um, not good times. So this decal brush, uh, I guess if you want to call it a decal brush, it actually works pretty good. I get this from STS Scale Model Decals um, when I was down in Detroit. I bought some decals down there and, and they give us a brush and I thought, you know, it actually works pretty good. So once you put the decal on, you can use the brush and this will actually pull the water out and kind of help flatten it for you. So I've been using that and I use this guy here uh, with my Microsoft. So you can see right here, see where that's got a little wrinkle right there? That's in a wrinkle there. That's where they, they ripped on me. I thought, oh. So hopefully, hopefully, we can do one shot in this and call it good. So I take it, put a little water in here first. This is just how I do it. I know a lot of guys use the Microsol, Microset. Um, but that's just kind of how I do it. And this doesn't always stick very well. Just give it something extra than nothing. Let's see if this is ready to roll. I need to get some of those decal tweezers. I'll usually give it just another dip and I can see it starting to come off real nice. Perfect. And we'll just get it lined up somewhere close. And we can maneuver it once it's on the car. Something like so. Oh yeah, that went a lot nicer than the first time, I will tell you that much. So now I'll come back with my brush with a little water, just to make sure we're good. So that way it's not starting to stick down on me, and we'll start to work it in place. So this here wraps up around that window nice and tight. Get too much water, we can just wick it out the brush. See, and the brush will pull so that water away for you. So it works pretty good. So we'll reference it to the other side, make sure we're not too far back, which looks like it go forward just a little bit. So we'll pull it forward just a shade. That goes up tight against the window. Looking pretty good there. And now we can just walk it in place. So this sits kind of tight against the, the window on this side, and we're just above the door handle. So we'll push this up just a little. that guy up like so make sure we're kind of level with the other side so it needs to go up a little higher and I also re do use reference photos uh, on Google for uh, decal placement because on the instructions the Ram Air decals on the hood the instructions have you put the Ram Air decals on the top but looking at prototype pictures, they're on the side. So sometimes it's always nice just to kick back with some reference pictures. Just to make sure you're on the up and up with it. So we'll double check here. It's looking pretty good. That's why I like to keep a lot of water on it. Because that way we can still slide it around, no problems. Life is good. So my back needs to come down just a little bit. I think we're looking pretty good from there. I look down the side, make sure it's not all wavy and wompy like, so it looks pretty good. So like I say, this brush works good, just taking carefully, work the water out of it. Wipe some of it off. I'm a decal fan, I love doing decals. It's one of my, next to painting, I, I'm a decal guy. I know there's a lot of guys that's not, decal's not their favorite thing, but I like the challenging decal. <laughs> Um, weird, maybe, I guess, but when the other one ripped, I thought, yep, perfect, we'll get our piece back together. That looks pretty good. Matching the other side pretty nice. I think we're pretty good there. Set this back up here. We'll take a little Microsol, and we'll seal the deal. Dip this guy in here, and I don't put it on just overly heavy, so I'll just let it wick off there for a bit. 
I'll take it and I'll just lightly put it on here because we don't need to, you know, saturate it till it's to the moon. Just enough to help it settle it down. I do want a little more here in the because I want it to settle down in there just a little bit. Like that. Go up the side a little bit, and there we have it. All right, while that's doing that, we'll get started on that GTO logo. So we'll get this cut out. These letters are individual. So I just take this and we'll check one of them. Nope, not yet. Okay guys, so we look like we're good to go here. So I'll take my tweezers. We'll just start with any random one here. And I'll just use this brush with a little water on it. And we'll just slide her off here. I'm not worried where it's at right now. I just want to get them on the car. And I'll place them in a minute. Okay, so like I say, I just get them on there, obviously. And now we can work it around and get them in place. So once again, I just hit them with a little bit of water. And I roll them in place a little bit. So we got the GTO imprint on the side of the car, so it helps us align everything. I can lie, it took me a little bit to get these in place on the other side. We're getting there. She's almost there. Okay, we're looking pretty good. Now we're going to put some microsol on it. We're going to put just a little bit on there. I mean, just a little, because I don't want it to move them around like that. Let her set for a bit, and we'll check on in a few minutes. All right, guys, that's going to wrap up the video for our GTO giveaway. Uh, like I say, we got this ready for clear coat, so it's looking pretty good. So we're going to let these decals dry overnight. Uh, then we're going to take it in the house and wash it and go from there. So uh, other than that, we should be ready for clear coat and get this thing wrapped up. All right, guys, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, if you're looking for a kit like this, go down and check out Hobby Nut Models. Uh, they got some of these in inventory, and there is a link in the description below. And... Uh, like I say, go check out the website and get yourself one of these kits. It's a really nice kit. And like I said, I love the MCW paint. Uh, stuff works great, as you see in the video. So we'll go from there. Other than that, we will see you on the next build. And you guys have a good one. And thanks for watching. <laughs>